When you're learning how to upshift, try shifting early to avoid becoming frustrated. Shifting early means shifting between 1000 and 1500 RPM. 10 to 15 is the sweet spot on most trucks. A car with a manual transmission will allow you to shift at almost any RPM. That's because many cars have synchronized transmissions. Truck transmissions aren't synchronized, so they require specific RPMs. Here's a good rule of thumb when you're learning to shift. Try shifting the low gears, 1 through 5, at 1400 to 1500 RPM, and the high gears, 6 through 10, at 1500 to 1600 RPMs. Use that 1-2 speed. Clutch, clutch, clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. Remember to push the clutch in just 2 to 3 inches when you're shifting. 1-2. That's the speed for upshifting. Here's what's happening when you upshift. Let's assume you're in 6th gear at 1500 RPMs and you're ready to shift to 7th. When you depress the clutch and move the shifter to neutral, the RPM needle begins to fall because you're not in gear. If it falls below 1000 before you make your next gear, the truck probably won't go into gear. So what you're really trying to do is beat the needle to 10, which means you're trying to make your next gear before the needle reaches 1000 RPM. If you fail to make your next gear before the needle falls below 10, you'll have to kick the needle up to the sweet spot. Revving the engine once kicks the needle up. Rev the engine by depressing the fuel pedal using a short, quick stab. Avoid depressing and holding the pedal down or you'll push the needle past the sweet spot. If you're having trouble revving the engine to the correct RPM, try practicing in a stationary truck. With the engine idling, the transmission in neutral, and the brakes set, depress and release the fuel pedal quickly and watch the RPM needle. Did it rise to 1000 to 1500? If not, allow the needle to fall and then rev the engine again with a little more force. Push that needle up to 1300 to 1500. Practice revving the engine until you're consistently hitting the sweet spot. This exercise will help build muscle memory in your lower right leg. This is an important skill that you'll use when you downshift because every downshift requires an engine rev. Downshifting is a little different because there's an extra step involved. To downshift, the driver needs to rev the engine while in neutral. So the proper procedure for downshifting is clutch to neutral, rev the engine, then clutch to gear. Recall upshifting. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. One, two. Downshifting is clutch to neutral, rev, clutch to gear. When you give the truck fuel or rev the engine, kick the RPM needle up to 1300 to 1500 RPM. If you're having trouble downshifting, slow down before attempting to downshift. Slowing down will quickly improve your downshifts. We recommend slowing down to 1000 to 1100 RPM, 10 to 11. At these RPMs, you can clutch to neutral, rev the engine, then clutch to gear. Kick that needle up to the sweet spot, but avoid staring at the gauge. Glance at it after revving the engine. Take a few seconds to consider what's happening during a downshift. So you've prepared for the downshift by slowing down to 1011. Well, 1011 is at the bottom of the sweet spot, so as soon as you shift to neutral, the needle begins to fall below the sweet spot. To put the truck into the next lower gear, you have to rev the engine to the sweet spot while in neutral. There is no one-two timing associated with downshifting because of the extra step of revving the engine. Also, if you don't kick the needle up high enough the first time, the truck won't go into gear and you'll have to try again by revving the engine a little higher. When you're downshifting, the same clutch rule applies. Avoid pushing the clutch pedal to the floor when the truck is in motion or you'll stop the gears and the transmission from turning. When the truck is in motion, the gears must also be in motion. So use two short clutches just as you do when upshifting. Patience over panic is the key to fixing a missed gear. Panic will cause you to grind your gears. Try to control that emotional response and practice this method instead. So I'm going to miss my shift from 6 to 7 on purpose and then fix it the smart way. After I miss 7th gear, all I need to do is find the soft wall and then place the shifter at the opening of the gate to 7th gear. You'll feel the gears turning with just a little bit of pressure on the shifter. Then I'll rev the engine to the sweet spot and the shifter will fall into gear. This method requires patience and the ability to locate the wall that is associated with your gear. If you apply too much pressure to the shifter, you'll create a grind. Light pressure on the shifter is all you need.
If you push the RPMs above 1500, you can still shift and make your next gear, but you'll have to alter the timing of your shift. Shifting at the 1-2 speed may not work, depending on how far you push the RPMs. So, let's assume that you've pushed the RPMs to 1800 without shifting. As soon as you begin your shift, the RPM needle begins to fall. If you try to put the truck in gear before the needle has reached the sweet spot, the transmission will grind. All you have to do is give the needle more time to fall into the sweet spot. You can do this by shifting slightly slower than 1-2. Slightly slower means less than a half a second. So instead of the 1-2 speed, try 1-2. Very little difference, but shifting early yields better fuel mileage. You'll be a hero if you shift early because fuel is a trucking company's biggest cost. Let's move on to low RPM shifting. If you shift at low RPMs, you can shift the transmission faster. Think about shifting every gear at 1300 RPM. As soon as you shift to neutral, the needle starts falling, but it doesn't have very far to fall before it's out of the sweet.